Speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony for new houses at Bukalo, Utoni highlighted that internal conflicts among leaders hinted development, leading residents to blame the government. To the leadership of the village council, Bukalo Village Council has been idle in terms of development for some time. Why? Why has it been idle? Fighting one another. Fighting one another. You know it, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my dear parents, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, my dear family members, why do we have to fight one another? Utoni welcomed the project as a beacon of hope for the town's development, appealing to the developers and housing contractors to consider the needs of low-income groups. You know, the developers, they want to generate a quick income and they focus on more on those who are at least earning high and they, they forget about the middle, the, the, the lower level. So what I'm trying to say is Please, when you come to develop in the area, you should also look at the lower, lower income group of the society so that they can also benefit. The housing development undertaken by Oasis Learning, Training and Hamco Investment aims to construct 162 houses on a 15 hectare piece of land provided by the Bukalo Village Council. The developers will bear the cost of land servicing, which includes renovating the sports complex and community hall as part of their corporate social responsibilities. The Zambezi governor, Lawrence Sampofu, emphasized that the new development should not become another abandoned or rushed project. To make sure that uh, you build houses, and these houses you take care and the value for money for those people who buy these houses. We have seen in other areas, these houses, three months, things are already falling apart. Less value for money. It's very important. We want to see these houses finished. We had a developer here some time back. Houses were left, some of the houses were left half, half done. We don't want to see half done houses. We want to see full houses. The development project will be carried out in three phases. The first phase involves constructing 162 houses, followed by the construction of a service station in the second phase and ultimately a shopping mall in the third phase.